These technical rescue platoon Marines are trained to locate and rescue those in need, whether the victim is stuck on a cliff or in an elevator shaft. The foundation for all our, our skills is rope. That is the most important discipline that we use. Let's go, Phil! For tech rescue, our five missions are vehicle extrication, trench rescue, structural collapse, confined space, and rope rescue. Being a part of Seabrook means they can be called to execute rope rescue missions at a moment's notice. To ensure they're ready, they trained with civilian firefighters from Henrico County, Virginia. I was coming to Henrico County and guys who've been doing it for 10, 15, 20 years, possibly even 30 years, they bring something new to the table, something new that we can use, whether it's skill level, equipment, or just techniques overall. Working with these firefighters, the Marines were able to practice new skills while also training on equipment they don't normally have access to. If you look at a seabird response, they would have very similar equipment on scene from local fire departments, energy companies, ladder trucks, and we want to expose the Marines to that so they know how to work with it. If you only train with the resources that are right in front of you, you're never able to see what's truly out there. When you incorporate outside resources and a melding of resources, you find yourself more efficient. Efficiency saves lives. It's right here, I got him. During the four-day training evolution, they focus on rope and confined space rescue. The Marines say they increase their confidence and their ability to go wherever their victims need them. Reporting from Glen Allen, Virginia, I'm Lance Corporal Aria Herrera.